I always like to glance at the answer choices before I start these just to see what's up. And sometimes there's some obvious issues. For example, is kind of one of our main transition categories. And specifically, a lot of people forget this, but specifically is another way to say, for example. So already I'm deeply skeptical of A and C. I'm crossing them out just for, to make my point. But on the real test, I don't always just automatically cross those things out. I prefer to read the sentences first because occasionally this, this simplification of these transitions into smaller categories is a little bit of an oversimplification. And sometimes there's like slight differences. I don't foresee any problems here with that, but it's just, I don't, I don't like to completely shut off answer choices until I kind of know what's going on in the passage. And then I think strategically about which categories they might fall into. But here you go. Let's look at the sentences. In the 1850s, William Still was instrumental in helping nearly a thousand people escape from slavery, earning him the moniker, the father of the Underground Railroad. Despite the fame of his contributions during his lifetime, Still is discussed far less today than other prominent black abolitionists from his era, such as Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman. So this is interesting because despite is, is a contrast word, right? So he's very good, right? He's the father of the Underground Railroad, but he's not as famous today, right? So it feels like a clear contrast, but it's odd to me that we would have a contrast word like despite already there for us. Now, I'm not gonna overthink it too much because like I said, it's not an example, right? Because it's not an example of him being famous. This is actually an example, the second sentence of him being like not famous. So A and C, now I'm even more confident don't work. And similarly as a comparison word, so are we making a comparison? No, we're making a contrast. So however is right, but I do think there's this weird thing that like, why are we doubling up with the contrast? If it were me writing it, I would just leave off the transition completely and just start the second sentence with, despite the fame of his contributions. But we don't have that option. And I guess that's an important thing to remember for the transitions and the grammar is, right, we're not writing the best possible sentence. We're dealing with the sentences and the blank and the choices that we're given, and we got to just pick from what's there. We're not allowed to completely rewrite things. But I hope that you would notice that this is a clear contrast, but I did think that was weird. That it's also got another contrast word there, but so it goes.